Now, you've seen Marcus go through his paces. It's the turn of the whales now and it's a little more serious. Now, this is a four-year-old killer whale and his name is Nemo. He came here 15 months ago from Iceland. Now, at the moment, he's about 11 feet long and he weighs a ton, but he's still a baby. In fact, when he's born, he's eight feet long. But when he's fully grown, he will stretch if he was still here, which he wouldn't be. He will stretch from here to the edge of the pool. And he'll weigh about eight tons. Quite impressive. Now, we're going to start off with a demonstration of his speed and his power. To do this, we're going to send him off for the high ball. Now, he weighs a ton, that means he displaces a ton of water, which is about 200 gallons. Archimedes principle and all that. <laughs> now that means sitting in the front row is a very exhilarating experience. <laughs> so if you don't want to get wet, take two steps back. Ready, steady, go. Okay, he's on his way. Look at him go. And back he goes. straight to the body. This means he has to swim through them. Now there's a reason for this. Because he hasn't got a neck, he is one solid, very smooth, aerodynamic shape. And this is one of the reasons he can swim so far. Now he's got them all. Good lad. Now bring him back here. And lift them up. Wow, good lad. one of the reasons he can swim so fast. He has very little resistance to the water. The other reason I will show you now. And we really shall I'll point out a few features of these lovely animals. We'll start at the back. Now from halfway down his body to the tip of his tail, that is his motor. It does nothing else except drive the front half with the teeth through the water. He can reach speeds of over 35 miles an hour. That makes him the fastest thing in the sea. He's his tail flute. When he fully grows, it should measure nine feet across. Okay, now that's where the power comes from. Whoops, come back here. This is how he steers, these things here. One on each side, there is pectoral fins. These are his arms. He has the same number of bones in there as you do, from the shoulder blade downwards. For three evolution, they evolved to form these flat plates, and these guide him steering through the water. Now, he's got a little back coming, and finally this little black spot, just in the middle there. That's his valve. That's how he dry up in the morning. <laughs> Good lad. Now, the one on the back, that is the first of that it's fixed. And it is basically a stabilizer. That stops him spinning in the water when he's moving at very high speeds. Unless of course he wants to spin in the water. But it just makes his forward motion more stable. Now we're up to the front half. So we'll have a look inside. Here we are. Let's have a look. As a species, they have 11 to 14 teeth on each side of each jaw. Nemo here has got 12, so he's got 48 in all. And let's have a look. There they are. Very nice. Come on, come back here. Let's do the top one. There we are. Later on, they'll 
they will be three or four inches clear of the gun. Wings out, wings out. Now there's a little more for that than just a bit of fun. If anything ever does go wrong in there, um, say for instance we get the bone of a fish or something jammed down the side of his tooth, in his gum, he doesn't mind us going in there seriously with a brush, or even a pair of pliers and working whatever it is loose. And what's more, we get the pliers and the hands back again. Now, let's have another jump. Now, this is the hoop jump, believe it or not. Not very high, but it shows how precise it can be. Right, good on it. Good lad, and again. Now occasionally you're going to see him open this thing on the back of his head. Now this is his blow hole. That is where Thank you. That's where he breathes. He cannot breathe through his mouth. There is no connection. Now also another interesting point. He is a conscious breather. That means he can never go to sleep like we can. He was drowned. He had to literally think about breathing. He had to open that flap on the back of his head, expel the old air, and then pull in the new air. Now this is the beginning of our football match. Now, we had to invest in some new equipment for this. We used to use ordinary football. But when a one-ton whale leans on something against the side of the pool, generally something gives. And it's usually the same middle. So we've gone for these heavy-duty marine boys, but they serve the same purpose. He's given back to the stage. He gets to the stage and voila! One more time. Go on. Now we'll have a set of goalposts on here a little later. And we'll invite somebody from the audience to come and get crushed by the wall. <coughs> Thank you. That thing weighs about five pounds. Doesn't it? Right. Good. Here we are. Now we'll have another jump. This time, it will be the hurdle jump. And it's coming towards you on this side. Not this coast, don't panic. But if you have a camera, now's the time to use it. As uh, this makes rather a nice photograph. Uh, I'm going to have to lift your... You're going to have to lift your feet. Otherwise you'll be in the pool. <laughs> All right. Here we go. got a little whale. We have a signal. Go. And hopefully we've got the end product. Round he goes. He'll jump over the red bit in the middle towards this end. Very nice. 